I'm gonna prove how good I am. I'm gonna science. prove that math is a science. <laughs> is it? Do you know the history of pretzels? No, I mean, sure. you're pretty good at making stuff up. I never made up a damn thing in these things. Things. I know the history of pretzels. You do? Yeah. Alright, lay it on us. Pretzels. What are they? Twirly, twirly birds that you grab with your hands and you wrap them around. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Back in 1987, a young man named Jordan B. Preetson walked into a kitchen and he said, hey, I'd like to make myself a little bit of a snack. So he grabbed some flour, he grabbed some yeast, he grabbed some salt, maybe a little bit of pepper, and he went to work, pulled up his sleeves, and he washed his hands as you always do before cooking a great meal, and he splashed them into a bowl, mixing vigorously, until out of the oven came something brand new, something his eyes had never seen before. Something that would take the 90s by storm. The pretzel had been made. And today, that's what we're doing. We're taking Jordan B. Preetson's original recipe and we're honoring it and then serving it up to him in his memory. Amen. I, I didn't I didn't really agree with the idea of letting Ethan do an intro. I thought like I could give him a chance uh, to really prove himself, uh, and uh, he really let me down on that one. Um, that was awful. I, I've never let anyone else do an intro for my channel before ever, and as the first video to ever be introduced by someone else, I feel like this just this is just like really shat on the dream of Markiplier makes as a whole. But you know I'm not gonna let him know that. You know, I always carry a smile on because I'm always very much, I'm about always smiling. That's my new initiative, hashtag always be smiling, ABS, always be smiling. So I'm going to take that, take that idea into the, into the future. So anyway. Yeah, there's going to be a lawsuit against Mark for uh, trying to take my hashtag. That's, that's pretty much all I need to say. The oven's preheated, the water's boiling, so we have all the ingredients that you need to make a pretzel. We've got flour, we've got confectionery sugar, we've got non-brand oil, we've got store brand butter, we've got store brand butter. Gold metal flour. So we combine these ingredients with yeast, and then you, you fold it into a pretzel shape. Yeah? <laughs> if you guys know... Washing my hands is all good chefs do. All right, so there are a few complicated steps, but as is usual with Markiplier Makes, we do not have a recipe. We never have had a recipe. We don't need a <laughs> We don't need a recipe because we are cooking innovators, not masters. We're explorators. You think that Lewis and Clark were masters of exploring? <laughs> Shut up! You think that Lewis and Clark were masters of exploration before they set out on the Oregon Trail? Like they didn't know what the hell they were doing. They didn't know where the hell they were going. And yet they still found something, the Louisiana. <laughs> they found, yeah, Louisiana Purchase. They were exploring the new territory for the Louisiana Purchase. That was them, wasn't it? That was them. They were. It was. And they found all of Louisiana. They found it all. They found all of it. Which back in the- Don't start! Oh you my god! You said that you were starting! Alright, whatever, we're starting. Okay. Alright, so it's flour, water, salt, butter, oil, and a little bit of sugar, and the most important ingredient is yeast, which I don't think you had first. I think you do, because you have to let the yeast rise, right? That's how that works. Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. Measuring is for pussies. <laughs> I am a penis. <laughs> Have either of you ever made pretzels before? No, I've seen it though. I lied. Yeah. I've made pretzels so many times in my life. Uh, I'm like a master. I'm gonna crush these guys in this competition. I'm gonna crush them. No, I feel like I really started this whole pretzel thing because they didn't want to start that yet. They were just blabbering on, and I, I got ahead of them. I got ahead of them. I put that yeast in, I put that flour in, that sugar, all of it. And I'm ready to do Jordan B. Pretzel Proud. I've done a lot of praying in my private time to the pretzel gods, Jordan B. Pretzel, and, and I, you know, I think I've got his spirit on my side. Do you not have any 
stop. I provided you everything that you needed. Nothing Why do you need mix with? You got your hands. It's 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 fucking skews. You said I have hands. You said that I have all the tools required. Scissors. What are you mixing with? Scissors. <laughs> <laughs> If it's not mixing well enough, you just cut it up. You know, you right. <laughs> ah, it's really hot! Ah! Oh! Where are the scissors? Oh wait, Ethan's mixing with them. <laughs> oh, it's so hot! How do I open this with ah! Well, your hands to the ah! <laughs> Ethan, can you just give me a snip? Oh, of course. There may be... A little bit of stuff on there. Didn't snip deep enough. Oh, That's right. fine. Mine's not looking too bad. I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but don't. mine's looking better than Ethan's. Excuse me? All right, let me show you something. Something my That's grandpappy good. taught me. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you. Never met my grandpa. Now, I've got a nice fine the dough. Audio on this. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little sloppy, but here's something that others don't know. That you're here. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to let the dough prove. 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 You've got to let the
Find it. Also, is there Sir Anne? To the left of the bridge. No, don't give him help! Giving Sir Anne that? No. Yes. No. Why? Yes. Why would you do that? Because I know how to prove. You don't know how to prove. I know how to prove. prove how do you it. prove? Well, how do you do it? You let it sit in the fridge for a little bit. Probably yeah, you, you one step hours. ahead. Yeah, you know. One step ahead of the game. You definitely know. I've already proved everything. Man, that's some nice looking dough, buddy. <laughs> Wait. What? Wait. We're missing an ingredient. Eggs. Egg. <laughs> Egg. 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 Do we have it? Egg. Don't, don't, don't touch my egg. Don't touch my egg. Don't touch my egg. Are you using this? No. Okay, good. That doesn't mean that you can use it. <clears throat> That's my property. <clears throat> <clears throat> don't give him any eggs, guys. You think Jordan be preaching when he's an egg? You. 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 Dishonorable. Don't do it. <laughs> Not that Not way. Yet. Not yet. Not yet. That's nice. Yeah? Give me salmonella. <laughs> no such thing. There is. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> Jeez, what I think they were actually all lacking was sugar. I didn't see them use any sugar whatsoever within their their recipe. I use sugar. And anyway, I think they forgot the sugar in their wine. I think I've got them beat. My dough looks fabulous. It's in the fridge. It's it's proving. It's going to prove itself worthy of being eaten by the most critical critiques of the pretzel, which is not Ethan's invented inventor of the pretzel. I use sugar. Did you use sugar? Yes. I use sugar. Yeah. You know what the egg's for? I know what the egg's for. That's great. One, see, my hand was here uh, first. But <laughs> you're, you're encroaching on my third. Did, I own this table. He's got a point. You done yet? When I what is, say, what technique are is you making this? a volcano? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you stick your finger in there, see what's up. <clears throat> you close? <laughs> you close? <laughs> too, too hard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you close? No, at least you can go harder than that. You hard. close? You close? Oh. You close? <laughs> <laughs> so we've proved, if for an indeterminate amount of time, we've decided that. It's proved, so we're gonna pull them out of their proving locations. In the middle of us not recording and not recording, Tyler had a epiphany. <laughs> I'll edit. I didn't know what proving was, so. You said, you said, I know what proving is. And I was like, oh yeah, tell me, in the fridge. And I was like. Listen, yeah. we did that for the pizza dough. <laughs> right, so the general gist is that it should double in size. Has yours doubled? <laughs> Actually, uh, mine's pretty close to double. I don't think so. I think so. Now that, that's, oh yeah, that's doubled in size. Oh, you're pulling the bulls out of the way so you can. <laughs> the fuck you say to me, you little shit? And <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna come across that table. <laughs> <laughs> the look on your face just. <laughs> so, we need an oiled surface, a not a floured. Do what you want. <laughs> no, oils, oil me up. Uh, oh. You want some? Yeah, just a little. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. All right. Good. You want more? Yeah, yeah you want more, don't you? <laughs> <I> do. Yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> anyway, so we roll them out, and then we shape the pretzels. See, mine doubled in size. Mine's freaking huge. Mine's huge. Look at that. Look at the size. Look of that. Look at the shape. It's a very nice. Got a little curve. That's okay. <laughs> Just a little bit of a curve on the bone. It's so nice. I think this is probably going to be really close. <laughs> what? I was thinking of like someone seeing your dick for the first time, <laughs> and you're just like, look at this. It's really good. <laughs> look at the size of it. It's got a nice curve. <laughs> Are we supposed to make multiple pretzels? Yeah, make like two. Okay. 
I got a thick boy. <laughs> I've got a pretzel. I did it. I did it. What's one? I fucking did it. Oh, oh my god. I got a pretzel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. I'll never be able to recreate the magic. <laughs> I recreated the magic. <laughs> we'll make three pretzels. Each one incrementally bigger. All right, mine are ready to go in. Okay, so the important thing is when you have your boiling water, which is definitely boiling, you want to have, what is in there? Okay, there's some particulates in there. All right, so you put baking soda in the water. The recipes never say how much. It's always just some baking soda. Okay, so this water's not boiling, but I don't think that matters. So I'm just gonna pop her in. I think it's supposed to float. I also think it's supposed to be boiling. You're, You're just uh, crisp in the bottom a little bit. No soggy bottoms here. No, no soggy, soggy bottoms. bottoms. No soggy. <laughs> <laughs> it's floating. It's floating. <gasps> it, it's floating. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I mean, it's floating, so that's a sign. I'm gonna guess that's good enough. I'm gonna guess. And then, blap, that's my first dumping. Why did you touch it? It's hot! Yeah. Is that pot gonna be big enough for that? Look at this and look at that! Look at this and look at that. Is there really... What we're not gonna have enough is for all of them on this. So I, that's why I was like, two per. Yeah. I won't cook this one. That's looking okay. It's still not boiling, but... Okay, I'm gonna say this is good. Maybe. Okay. Those are my two pretzels. This one lost its shape, but that's okay. See, that, that, look at that boil. I should have waited. I'm gonna boil this big one. That's a nice looking pretzel, man. That is nice. That is nice looking. He's big. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect him to be that big. All right, go for it. Go, go, go. Why do I need to do mine at the same time? Because we're out of time. Come on, stuff it in. No, it's gonna be ruined. Why don't I'm, you... I'm gonna have a handicap. Okay, fine. The recipe says one at a time. This is what Ethan always does. He's not a team player. He doesn't work for the group. He is always, you know, looking out for himself, number one. He never listens when, you know, time is of the essence, and he's always taking his own time trying to make things perfect. Well, Ethan, it's never going to be perfect because you're not perfect. Can you hear me? I can't see. Okay, you can't hear me. This guy is going to be used for an egg wash to make sure it crisps and browns around the edge. So I'm going to make an egg yolk. Just do a nice egg yolk wash on top of my bread. He got big! Wow. He got very big! Wow. Is this mine? Yeah. Mine didn't puff, I think, because it wasn't boiling. All right. I feel good about mine. I think that's the way to Get out of the way! You don't get to put up. Oh. I need two hands for this one. Here we go. I'm going for it. Ooh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big boy. That looks like soup. It smells like a dumpling. Yeah, well, you know, maybe maybe I accidentally <laughs> made dumplings. What of it? Fuck you! All right, so the oven's ready, so we just pop them right in. Nope. We pop them right in. Nope. That's fucking gross, man. It's called egg wash. I know what it is. All right, you don't even need a bowl to get your egg wash. Cause you just, it comes with a bowl. Excuse me, excuse me. I can move that closer for you. No, I don't need it, I don't need you. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, oh gosh. And I know the final step. I know it. Watch out. What are you doing? You gotta cut it so it doesn't explode. Snip, snap. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Okay. They're going in. I feel like your big one should be the lower one. I think you should shut up. No. Oh. <laughs> and now we wait. That's what you get. No, that's fine. Now we wait. Now wait. we wait. All right. If you're going to start a timer, start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I got it. Ten. Yeah. Eleven. Oh, okay, cut! It's been about, how long has it been? Eleven minutes. It's been eleven minutes. This is what we're looking at right now. 
Minor. <laughs> <Yeah>, wow. <laughs> Here's a real thing. Wow. All right. Uh, the one up top is looking real fun. Some of the bottom fell off. Don't worry. That looks like a pretty evenly baked pretzel, though. I'm gonna give mine just a little. I like mine a little darker. That smaller one looks really good. No, yeah, that looks like a real pretzel. I feel like if Look anything's gonna boy. drag me down, it'll be the fact that I didn't put mine in boiling water. Yeah. But that'll be proven by my big boy. If my big boy comes out big good, mm -hmm. you know that it was my problem. See, they all they all look pretty good. I, they do. But now it's just gonna come to the taste. Oh yeah, that's yeah. what I call some pizzas. These are our pretzels. They are looking pretty good. I'd say from an aesthetic perspective, Tyler is definitely taking the cake on this one. Those look great. There's only a little unevenness here, but like the, the shape, the consistency, the, the dough itself, it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Yours would be a second. Just because they got the uniformity, the twists aren't think, quite good. I think the I think the toast is pretty even. Yeah, you got a nice toast. And it looks plump, a little too plump. <laughs> a little too plump. Mine look a mess. I they think, look like super twisty. Well, they, they don't look any different than they did when I took them out of the water because like just it's soaking there, I think it sogged it up a bit, mm. which is why it took a little longer. It's not quite as crisp as I. Yeah. But. That's, if history repeats itself, the ugly one may taste the best. That's true. It might, it might. I also destroyed it with salt, because I, I didn't care. You can see just a stripe of salt here, nothing really uh, consistent about this. Yeah, this is, this is even, even dusty. Yeah, you did, yours, yours has a touch of quality to it. I, I will say the light, lighter salted side appeals to my heart. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but that's specific taste. General yeah. overall, that's close to a true pretzel. Right. Quite a soggy bottom on this one. <laughs> Everything's looking gray here except for this. <laughs> oh, no. So now it just looks like a pig's nose that has a cold. <laughs> oh. I think this is the yolk that spilled over and it got like sulfurized. So that's no good. But the rest of it, this is pretty crisp and, and kind of nice. Uh, the middle might be a little raw, but that's my mega pretzel. Um, and also that got a better boil when I can already tell it fluffed up better because of the boil. Anyway, I'll put this over here. That's for dessert. First glance of ripping it open doesn't look good on the inside. I don't think that's done. That's that looks flaky. wrong. You know what? I'm gonna give him a benefit of the doubt and go to the more done looking side. Yeah. <laughs> it looks raw on the inside. It is a little raw. The dough itself is salty, which is surprising. I think, yeah, I think it was just like too thick, which is really where it went a little off. There's also an odd aftertaste in it. Mm-hmm. This one's good. That's good? Okay. Yeah. You know, only a little raw in here, but... That one tastes like a pretzel. It definitely has a little bit of a crunch on the outside, so... Mm -hmm. No soggy bottom. It's just, the Something about the ingredients is off, because yeah. it tastes a little off. I, if I got this from a store, I'd be like, hmm, man, their pretzels are off today. But I'd still eat it, because I paid for it. Yeah. Same. If I didn't pay for it, I'm not going to pay it. Honestly, that's not bad. No, not, not, not bad. bad. <laughs> Weird. All right. It's, it's definitely crispy on the bottom. You got a nice crisp there. Mm -hmm. Maybe too crisp. It's a little bland. I don't know what it is, but it's got a weird flavor. At least mine does. Mm. I think, I think what it is, too much water and flour, so I really diluted Could it be. out. Uh -huh. And the bottom is definitely hard. Yeah, like, yeah. it's hard, hard. Mm -hmm. You want to take your other one? Yeah, yeah. great if you want. It's cooked, which is what I like. It is. It's definitely. Mm -hmm. Cooked through. Mm -hmm. I think he has the same issue on this one. I think the bottom's a little too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably just because the soggy and sat down. Really baked it hard. Okay, now, visually appealing. This I'm looking forward to this because this is, it looks good. It looks cooked. Ooh. It's a bit tough. But the toughness isn't good. That tastes exactly like a pretzel. It does. That tastes... That is a pretzel. Honestly, try the parts that are twisted because those, I think, ended up coming out at the exact right consistency. That's good. Honestly, this is a good pretzel. I've got no flaws with that. That's well done. It looks good. The twist is good. It's very consistent. The bake is good. That's good. If it wasn't for this. Yeah, the crispy bottom. Which I think was just because maybe the pan we used was wrong because we all had this. That's a great pretzel. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, well done. Amy, you want to try this? Yeah. Here. I actually, not bad. I actually like the crispier bits more. That's good. This is good. That's really good. I am pleasantly surprised. Well done, man. Thank you. I'd rank mine the worst. Yours second. If it was cooked better, that'd mm -hmm. be much better. Um, and that, first place by far. Yeah. Honestly, I wonder if your fridge method was better. Like, because we proved ours how we were supposed to, but 
Like, even though you didn't, it's still, like, flaky and... I'm honestly very surprised that we all got something that looks like a pretzel because none of us measured anything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is a boiled version of mine. It I is... don't want to go for it that far. Yeah, it's probably not cooked in the center, I would imagine. Oh, no, what? actually. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a little underdone. Surprisingly, here. It smells like a pretzel. Mm, it doesn't... It has, a, it has an interesting... <laughs> it yeah, has no. an interesting scent to it. Yeah, that pretzel smell that I smell that's gone now, I think it was just residual waft from yours. <laughs> and now I'm getting like that snot. It just doesn't feel appealing. This is too much like bread. Yeah. I think I made bread. Anyway, that wow. is pretzel. To recap, Tyler, if that was in any store, I would not question it in any way. That is a good pretzel. Yours was not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, mine was just bad. Uh, but that's because I made bread instead and also put oil in it and I did a lot of things wrong in this one, but I feel like Ethan's would have been better if he hadn't gone as thick. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Given the time constraint that we had though, I think we did- I think we all did pretty good. Yeah. Because how long- how long is it supposed to set for or prove for? An hour. An hour? We did like 15 minutes <laughs> yeah. maybe? Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe? But, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me, and yep. uh, if you want to try pretzels at home, it's not that hard, but follow what Tyler was doing and not what we were doing. Or if follow you... a recipe. Yeah, like, probably no. the better idea. No, don't do that. That's actually stupid because it, it, it stifles innovation, and it stifles critical thinking, and it stifles independence, and you want, like, it's like a parent. You want to let your kid run around in the woods. Like, just do it. Let him eat dirt. Let him eat worms. That's what I did as a kid. That's what I did, I, it, We turned out great. Of the three of us, the most well-developed of the three of us are us too. You can see that, obviously. Well, the, I developed well developed. Yeah. Well developed. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, this is great. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you've got other ideas for mixed videos, write them down in the comments below. We'll do a whole bunch more in the future. And uh, check out Ethan's channel at Crank Game Plays, or at Crank Game. On what, YouTube. What, YouTube.com slash Crank Game. It, it redirects, so just do Crank Gameplays. Crank Gameplays. And uh, twitch.tv slash Apocalypto underscore 12. Over yep. here. Thank you guys so much, and as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Bye! Bye. This is not bad. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I hate the fact that Tyler beat me. He never beats me ever at anything, and I kind of want to kill myself just to get out of the world where Tyler is better than me at making pretzels.